what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys if you guys have no idea who I am I'm the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash so if you're interested in ordering wholesale getting bundles or signing up with a drop ship service a pre-ship service or just browsing the website all the links are in the description and not only that I'm also a business strategist so if you're interested in any digital downloads please visit amanijelina.co because I'm sure I have tons of information or tons of digital download material that can help you with the educational value and also I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers by the name Aaliyah Life because she's been a consistent commenter and I just want to give a shout out to you and your business and all that good stuff I wish you much much success with your business and if you need anything, let me know. You guys know in order to get shout outs through me or to get noticed through me, all you have to do is leave comments below and just let me know that you're watching. But moving on to this video, this video is going to be all about converting your following into customers. This is very, very important when it does come to social media because at the end of the day, social media runs the game, okay? Social media is top of the line when it does come to branding and marketing. So you have to know exactly how to utilize it. Now the top social platforms, in my opinion, are gonna be Instagram, Facebook, and honestly, TikTok is taking over, okay? There's millions of users actively using TikTok on a daily basis. So TikTok is now on that list as well. So the very first thing that you need to know is who exactly you're marketing to or who your audience is. Now, at this point, if you have a business and you have an existing business, existing business already and you have your feet wet with everything you should know exactly who you're marketing to and if you do not know who you're marketing to that that's that's very much so a problem okay so if you guys do not know who you're marketing to I do have a free workbook that I did design to help you guys figure out this information I'll leave it in the description box as well but it the workbook just kind of goes over some pieces of information so you guys can figure out exactly who your demographics are because this is very important. Once you figure out exactly who you're marketing to and who your audience is, it'll be a little bit easier to know the type of following that you need to have. Example, I have a hair company. There's no way that I want my following, let's say on Instagram, to be anything outside of the beauty industry. Now the beauty industry is a broad industry. I can have a lot of individuals who like um, nails or who likes skin or who likes even clothing, but I would not have a lot of following that prefers sports because that just, it just doesn't fit. So that's why I say you need majority of the following, majority of your following needs to be engaged in what exactly you're offering. The next thing we're going to talk about is being active and consistent. Consistency is key. Being active is key. Now, I am struggling with this myself because I took a lot of time off of my Instagram page. So now that I'm trying to build it back up, it is a little more difficult, but I'm implementing these same tactics that I'm giving you guys and I'm noticing elevation. And this is the same thing I did to ultimately get where I am now while incorporating new techniques. But being active and consistency is key. Now, when I say consistent, I mean uploading daily. Some, some business coaches will tell you not to upload daily and upload a few times a week. I will never understand that either because ultimately, if you're trying to reach a specific goal, there is no time for any days off, not one day off. And uploading something on Instagram per se is very effortless, it's very easy. It doesn't have to be a professional picture. It could be a picture of a product that you're offering. It could be a picture of a model wearing your product. It could be a picture of you. It could be a picture of a digital product that you're offering. It could be a flyer. You have so many different content images that you can post on, let's say, Instagram. Or even Facebook, whether it's just a, a text post that you can upload. So there is no room or there should be no excuse for you not to be able to post something. A post literally takes 
roughly about five minutes out of your day. And if you can't dedicate five minutes out of your day to your business, that's a major issue. And maybe this is not the field for you. I want you guys to think of this as if, let's say you're working a nine to five job and you're saving up for a car. At the end of the day, you're gonna work as much as your boss will let you work so that you can get a car because you need a car right now. You need a car right away. So you're not gonna take weeks off. You're not gonna take four days off or vacations off if you're ultimately trying to get something that you need right now. So it's the same way when it comes to your business. At the end of the day, whatever your goal is, is your goal, but you have to ultimately get there. And taking time off and not being consistent with everything is going to fuck you in the end. The next thing we're gonna dis discuss is trust. Trust is very important. Your customers need to be able to trust you. They need to be able to trust your judgment with things. They need to be able to trust you handling their, their money. They need to be able to trust a lot of things that you're offering them. So the thing that I've been saying for years, if you've been watching my videos, is your customers don't ultimately purchase your product, they purchase you which is gonna eventually lead me to my next thing. But you have to be, you have to ultimately build that trust with your customers or your following so that they can eventually turn into customers. So things like responding back to uh, comments or re responding back to your DMs and things like that will increase that trust when it does come to them. And then like I said, that leads me to my next thing. You need to be the face of your business not necessarily you, but you need to put a, a real life face in front of that business so your customers do know that, hey, this is this is the person that I'm ordering from. This is them, I trust them, I'm okay with spending my money from with them, I don't think that they're gonna try to get over on me. And I can guarantee you that you'll have a better rate of someone purchasing from you with building trust and also putting a face to the business versus removing that aspect of things. And then the last thing that I'm gonna discuss, which is the most important, is paying for product ads. So when you're actually paying for ads through Instagram, depending on how much or how, how much your budget is, how, how little or how high your budget is, Instagram will tell you an estimate of how many people will see your ad, depending on your budget. So the higher your budget, the uh, the larger amount of audience that can possibly see your ad, the smaller it is the smaller audience that will possibly see your ad. At the end of the day, you have to realize that you're just one person. There's no way that I can get in front of 1 billion people and promote my business too. But social with social media and being in 2020 and 2021, we have this amazing tool in front of us that is, that is, is very much so there for us to utilize. Knowing our demographics, knowing who we're, who we're targeting as far as purchasing our products is very, I'm not even gonna say very important, it's critically important. I'm on this journey with you all as far as converting following to customers. It's, an, it's a never ending research filling journey, but the more information that I retain regarding this particular topic is the information that I will deliver to you guys. But if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to let me know. Feel free to drop some comments below. Let me know how you feel, if you have some tips and tricks, how you can help me and also the next business owner. Don't hide any secrets. I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.